Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 20 of this video series. In this session, we're going to look at trellis, help text, and working with colors. Right, quickly jump into Click View, desktop, and then we'll see what are trellis and uh, where we can mention this help text. I'm going to create a new application. Uh, I'll be saving that as uh, V20. So <clears throat> let's put in some inline data or else let's load a table file. Furnish, I'll be requiring only company and the unit sold. So let's reload it. So we have this data. So it's 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 a unit sold by company. So now we'll be plotting. A bar chart. So here my dimension would be company, and then I'll place some of units sold. Sales. Let's finish it up. So now we got sales of each company here. So let's go to properties. There. In general, so we have error messages. So go to dimensions. There you can find trellis. Just click on trellis, and it'll ask you to enable trellis. Just enable it, and if you make it auto, then okay, then okay. Now see what is happening. So it is creating a series of bar charts depends on the dimension values means first dimension values so here we have let me count the number of uh, companies that we have text object and i'll be counting count of so company and i want distinct count or else we'll get repeated number So we have 36 so here 336 and here also it should be 36 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 by 6 means 36 right so let's add another dimension in the back end so I'll add country here let me reload it save and reload so before reload it's better so then well i'll add <coughs> country to the this one and i'll promote so country will be in the top position then apply click on ok so as we discussed earlier the first dimension will be considered to split the charts and the second dimension will be take i mean taken into consider for plot in the graph so here for australia rd and acura so likewise so let's enable dimensional limits okay for company sorry, let's, so largest of three for each and apply it's treating just for country you're supposed to make it for three and apply. Now see you can see three companies per country. Let's change the axis. It is representing more than taken. So this is how uh, we can use trellis.
okay so and let's check what is help text go to layout sorry caption there you can find help text in here so here you can mention something this chart is plotted by country then okay press okay then you will get a question mark symbol here so when a user hover the mouse on it then they'll get it or else if user clicks on it it will display pop-up kind of thing and the user can close that so this is our text object will work. I mean uh, help text will work fine so let's close this uh, so let's disable the trellis sorry so go to trellis and ignore it apply we'll get dimension so just remove this not a company here we are getting three because we have enabled dimension limits so just disable the dimension limits now we'll get it this way so so we have seen about trellis and help text let's move on to colors so colors are the most time taken process in click view so if you manage it intelligently then you can get rid of that so, or else you'll be into the trap of time lapse so for managing that the first recommended one is let's create a chart and go to properties any chart and there you can find a colors one here you set the first 18 colors that are required for or else that are used in your organization so the order should be the same one okay so let me select so i want this color to be first okay and second value should be this third val third color should be so value in the sense rgb values this so then apply if you select multicolored so just remove this persistent then you can see order of the colors what are we set first so that is getting the first color and the second bar will be second color third bar will be third color and fourth will be fourth color let's sort this is by y value remove this a to z sort by value so that we can get the graph in descending order in that case also we are getting the colors in the order which we have set so this is how you can save some time and the other part is second part is so there are some cases where in which user is required to add colors to the text objects so in that case so before you start developing it so let's go to I mean create a text object go to color properties and on the fixed you find the custom colors here so just uh, select a box and add the rgb values whatever you your, your company will be using and then uh, means assume like uh, 242 187 and uh, 110 are the color which my company is using assume so, and then add it to custom color so you don't have to specify the rgb color every time and if you want to add a new new uh, I mean custom color to the palette just select that and provide the values like 232 or sorry 10 and 156 this is another color so likewise you can add 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total 16 colors right so and 18 colors in that so you don't have to add the rgb values every time if you uh, add these colors to the palette okay this is one 
and the other one is assume like so I have created something in here so this assume like this has a different color make this one so now so I have the color here I have another color here so if I want to pay I mean copy the color from here to here there are two ways so the first one is you can right click so copy okay and then come under the one and right click paste base color second color gradient and paste all so let's make it paste base color then apply the color will be applied if you are using only one color let's go to properties then in that case here you can find one color gradient or two color gradients let's take two color gradient okay so and you can specify the second color as well here so I'll, I'll be selecting second color as this one so how, how which kind of uh, gradient you want to have a vertical diagonal or anything else so I like this one so let's place okay apply okay. now from here I want to take I mean whenever you're copying you get everything when you're pasting you get options which you want to paste you want to paste base color or second color or it's gradient so I want to paste only gradients okay then apply by default the second color in gradient is black so this is how you can save time in copying and pasting rather than selecting options right uh, sorry for the disturbance so this is how you can save the time and other one is sometimes you will get requirement like to customize the colors of text and background so assume I have a sales information I want to put in values and data points here so here these are black in color so sometimes we'll get requirement for putting this one in some other color red you can use the red as a I mean, uh, function directly so these are in red so you can observe this once the text gets bolder and this is red now so the same way you can specify the colors for the background as well so instead of putting the default colors so let's have all, all the balls in green color apply right so assume you want to specify a color which is not as a function then rgb off then you can give an r value as 25 and g as 156 b as 36 so this is the color which we are uh, producing after the i mean after providing the rgb values assume you have created many number of chart and you want to change the color after some time so in that case you have to reach this place and then you need to change the color so rather than coming to each and every chart property and opening it modifying it it's better to create a meaningful variable in the back end sorry in the in variable or window so create v bar color so assign a color to it so i'll be putting rgb of 234 116 and 213 okay now go there open the so here we have variable v bar color then apply then you, you will get the color okay so this is how you can manage the colors very easily assume you have multiple colors for multiple brands in that case what you can do is so let me export this and values to excel so my requirement here is i'll be generating so rgb colors so randomly rg sorry, r g and b so this will be equals to rand between so the values are in between 0 to 255 
zero to fifty five. So I'll be pasting the same thing out here and here as well. Okay. Let me do the same thing. Okay. Let's take this. Save this. Let's, let's do the file save as. So data sorry color data color data let's save it now open click view and load that file into click view so, so the key will be automatically created based on the company so let's reload it see the RGB values are there or not because it has some values in the RGB and come to this then go to and click on plus symbol go to background there you can write RGB of RG then apply then you can get the multiple colors assume like you have a, a color code for each and every brand in that case you can assign the colors so as uh, the company has specified standards for those particular brands or for products or for any thing any category so this is how you can manage the colors very easily and um, and this is the efficient way to manage the colors as well okay and other one uh, we have another function called ARGB so what this has is uh, let me try that RGB of some color 234 so this is a color which I am applying statistically when uh, all the way so let's take some color which is so this is the color so now what this is not having any uh, anything to make these colors lighter or brighter so for that we have a ARGB what this ARGB will do is it will take an alpha value to make these color brighter and lighter. So if I specify 30 as my value, let's look at the color. So it will uh, disappear. So 1, right? You make it 100 light. So this is how you can use ARGB to apply the alpha values. Okay, there is another one uh, apart from the RGB that is HSL. So you can also use HSL function to set the colors. Nine, twelve, thirty-four. Let's see what will happen. So you set zero. one zero this is how you can apply HSL as well and assume if you want to have the color mix so in that case 
just click on this definition uh, three dots which is there in definition go to file select on color mix wizard then click on next there you can uh, write your expression in our case that is sum of um, unit sold and uh, go to next there you can specify the upper limit and lower limits so and you can also specify the intermediate limit as well then if you if required then press next then finish so the expression will be um, uh, pasted press ok apply and okay. you can see so here the highest value is colored with the green color and the lowest values are colored with the red color and this color intensity is also changing depends on the values so this is how you can uh, uh, play with colors in click view efficiently thanks for watching the video please subscribe